Okay, there we go. That was a nice loud sound. But anyway, welcome back to another game of um, Thingamajig. I was going to say Stalker Misery, but no, this is quite different. Going to be Command War Game of the Year Edition. Oh. Oh yeah, that's right, it is actually called that as well, as well as Command Modern and Naval Operations. I'm going to be playing the uh, 2011 scenario Brother Against Brother. So this is a, a hypothetical one between uh, Colombia and Venezuela. Yeah, Colombia versus Venezuela, right, right there. So, 11th of July 2011, 10 o'clock Zulu, whatever that means, 5 o'clock local times. So this is presumably in the morning as well, so... Pretty early to be uh, killing each other, but there you go. War doesn't know a bedtime, it seems. So I have hypothetical conflict, Colombia versus Venezuela. Historically, several conflicts aroused since the independence and birth of these two republics, mainly due to territorial disputes. Lately, the tension grew up, driven up, uh, driven by open, unfriendly personal relationship of both countries' presidents. And lately, the tension grew up. Grew up, driven by open, unfriendly personal relation. Open, unfriendly personal relationship with both countries' presidents. I think they need to rewrite that sentence. Too bad that's never going to happen. But anyway, Colombia claims that Venezuela is given cover to units of Colombian rebels, rebels crossing the border. Venezuela negates this, menacing president and his menacing president of Colombia, breaking all diplomatic contacts. Yeah. Anyway, breaking all diplomatic contacts, new agreements between Colombia and the states to establish US bases in Colombian soil is seen by Venezuela as an open provocation. The seed for a war is sown. Bizarre. Tour commandos, the situation with. Damn, it's even louder than I thought it'd be. There we go. Yeah, the situation in Venezuela is deteriorating faster than expected, according to human, so human intelligence. The rebels were attacked last week. One of our barracks are encamped in Venezuelan territory. The government of Venezuela named them political refugees. I'm assuming that English is not the first language or whoever wrote this. Still, it's an interesting scenario to say the least. Say the least. An ultimatum has been issued by our ambassador in Caracas. An operation to attack its camp is underway. Await further orders. To KCOM 1 and list all fighters to provide their superiority over the operations area to GACAS. Close air support, maybe? I don't know. All tactical bombers available will, will be fueled and armed to attack the rebel base. All naval units will be sail immediately to Arkham Bolivar. Okay, yeah. The English surely is not their first language there. So there we go. We'll, we shall select the side, and yeah, we got that. And yeah, we got some good music. It keeps moving back. Anyway, we've got some good music to uh, start things off as well, actually. Sounds good to me. Let's see. Actually, I'll just use a mouse for that. Uh, what is the current map looking like? So this is what we've got here. This is our country. We're playing as Colombia, if I remember correctly. And we need to sail to somewhere, to arc something. And is that it? Well, that's... I don't know what the hell that is. I think that might be the rebel base. Let's see, we'll just select all reference points. I don't see anything else really. I mean, that might be it actually. Where are these guys meant to go there in that case? I, okay, I think I better reread this. Whoops. <laughs> uh, side briefing. Okay. So, we enlist all fighters to provide air superiority over the operation. Camped in Venezuelan territory. That might be the reference to that, I'm not 100% sure. Name them as political refugees. Yeah, I think that might be it. Attacking that camp there. So we need to launch all the fighters into the air, like you just don't care, and uh, all tactical bombers available will be fueled and armed to attack the rebel base. All naval units will sail, sail immediately to Arc Bolivar. Arc. 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 Let's see. We oh, there it is. God, I can't believe I missed it. Whoops, look. So land installation, two units. Oh, okay. Uh, huh. So basically it's not really going to be doing too much. So naval units are meant to be sailing there. Uh, let's see, yeah, they've all got waypoints there. We'll uh, let them do their thing. I'm sure that something terrible is going to happen before they all reach Arc Bolivar anyway. But before that happens, we'll just have a look at all we've got. So we've got the radar. So presumably the plane is going to need to fly there. Pretty close actually. Let's just save. Select the sink. 
Distance from selection, 104 nautical miles. Okay, it is a little bit far away, I'll admit. Hmm. Of course, now we've got the uh, music being soft again. Whatever. We'll just leave it as that. Now, yeah, so GAC has GACOM. So this thing is a uh, single unit airfield. Really? What? Oh, no, actually, we do have more uh, aircraft than just one there, though. So. Whoops, okay, okay, so we got that. And this thing's got zero aircraft. These are unavailable. Oh, okay, so these ones will be available in six hours, no problem. Eh? So I'm completely unfamiliar with the um, units of Columbia. Big surprise, I know, these guys. So I've got Kafir C7s, which are going to be ready soon, some are ready now. They've got a whole bunch of ships which are going to be steaming towards the harbour. Yeah, well, let's have a look. Browse scenario platforms. We've got the ships. So all these different ships are basically just two different types, from what I can say. New Problemo. So let's have a look at the BL-161 Katagina de Indias, which is a... Wait a minute. What is this meant to represent? Type 701A C Freiburg. Okay, well, whatever. Have a look at this one first. This is a... Uh, oh, ex-German. Very nice. Ah, oh, okay, so this is the... Um, actual vessel, so it's basically the Freiburg vessel by Germany, and this is basically the type that it's now known as under Columbia, I believe that's what it's meant to be. So this is an auxiliary ship, fast combat support ship, and, uh, and no weapons or anything like that, okay. So we got that, we also got the Almorant Padula, which is surface combatant, so it's a uh, Corvette, 350 damage points, kind of annoying how they still use that, but whatever. The actual damage, um, itself is pretty detailed though. I mean, it's not just a matter of hit points going down, you can get individual systems damaged, got fire and flooding to worry about, and uh, various other fun things as well. So, this thing on the other hand, uh, yeah, it's got decent sensors, it's got E-Lint, it's got HFDF, which is probably related to E-Lint, I'm guessing. Okay, what else have we got? Okay, we've got some mounts as well. So this is a uh, torpedo. We have three nautical miles range, three nautical miles for... Uh, some sort of a 40 millimeter cannon, no problem. Hmm. Ah, oh, here we go. Slightly bigger naval cannon with a max range of six. This is six. The torpedo is three. So this thing's got the longest range there. Got a whole bunch of shafts and flares. We got oh, that's much better. We got exoset missiles, I think. Exoset BLK1. I just read that as missiles. So guided weapon, surface ships, 36 nautical meters. That's a bit more like it. And we've got a couple of SAMs as well, so if only three nautical miles, oh Jesus Christ. And so what about the aircraft? What do we have? Oh no, that's the base view, I want to get back into this. Oh, we've got a, a few different types of aircraft apparently. Oh, these things probably got some aircraft on them as well, let's see, okay. Because yeah, some ships can actually, yeah, there we go, can actually launch aircraft and have them land. So, we've got the, um, this thing. AS the Fennec, which I believe is just the call sign or whatever, which is a, uh, where is it? No, actually, no, no, I don't think that is. Whoops. Well, in any case, this is what we got from Argentina, apparently. AS555SN. SN, yeah, that's not the call sign, it's the actual thing itself. So the AS1, we've got one of them, we've got the AS1 loadout, which is something. ASW, oh, Anti-Submarine Warfare Patrol. Day and night, all weather capable. Uh, what is this thing exactly? So it's a torpedo, and... Oh no, that's the uh, sensor thing. What about the... Uh... Oh, okay, whoops, I'm actually looking at the torpedoes here. Yeah, bit of a brain fart. I was, thought I was looking at the plane there for a second. Or, well, it probably wouldn't be a plane, it would be a helicopter. But anyway, nope, not quite. So this thing has got uh, three nautical miles for anti-sub, and the kinematic range is four nautical miles. So if it's, um, you know, if the target tries to flee, this thing can go up an extra four, uh, extra one nautical mile to try to uh, catch it. So good for him. So this thing's got that. Could try to launch it actually. Just see what else we got actually. This thing with a new aircraft. This thing's got no aircraft. This thing has nothing at all. No problem. This thing's got the aircraft basically. Huh. Actually, can I just start that just so I can see the ranges? Maybe no. Apparently not. Okay. Show non-friendly, merge rain signals. 
interesting. Yeah, I don't see like any circles indicating their ranges there. I'll set up the missions in just a second. I just want to see if it'll just show the circles at the very least. Apparently not. Apparently we also got a unit airfield here as well in Venezuelan territory. Pretty deep actually. But let's just have a look at what we've got for our own air bases. So let's see. We've got the Kafir C7, whatever the hell this that is. With uh, so loadout AA, so anti-air presumably. Python free and Python Python free lights as well, which means something. Python free. Ah, here we go. Air superiority WVR, whatever that stands for. Day and night, all weather capable. Damn good. Seventy minutes range. Okay, so this is basically that. This thing is. Ah, okay, so yeah, I see, so it's got four in a, uh, okay, so Python 3 has uh, more uh, Python missiles, while the lights have got less missiles, but they do have uh, more drop tanks full of fuel, that sounds good to me. Okay, no problemo, blah, 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 and I don't think they can, I uh, don't think I can get switched out to anything else, so we got that, we got this as well, we have zero aircraft, so these are the OV-10D Broncos, which are going to, uh, have the Zunis on them, HVR rockets, so let's have a look. Strike land naval, day only of course, limited or weather capable. Well, given that we started in the morning, yeah, we should hopefully, um, yeah, but yeah, five hours, so it's going to be ten o'clock by the time we can unleash them, no problem. I'm not going to be playing in real time, as you might have guessed. So cruiser to sell, fallen blast, so this thing's got a couple of different rockets, Hydra and the HVR rockets. Okay, well, let's have a look. So only two nautical miles range, of course. What else have we got? Two nautical miles as well. Okay, so basically we're just really more or less more the same. I mean, actual warheads might have been a bit different, but yeah, we'll just treat them pretty much the same. So uh, good, we got that. There's something here. I don't know what the hell that is, though. That's a problem. And we don't have any uh, early warning aircraft either, so... Interested to see how this will work out. Alright, yeah, well, we'll start off. So, what are these things again? The uh, Kafirs. Alright, well, we'll start off. Do we have any existing missions? Nope. Create another one. So, this is going to be the initial air sup, I suppose. The form up. Just get them all to launch and patrol somewhere. Oh, right. Damn it, why is it replaying the same damn song again? It's so annoying. Oh, and of course, it's going to set the previous window. That's a good. I suppose that's a good excuse just to skip over to the next one, whatever the hell it's going to be. There we go. Yeah, I know it's using shuffle, but it shouldn't be playing the same song twice like that until it plays all the other ones, as far as I understand it, anyway. Hmm. Yeah, well, whatever. Yeah, to end, of course, yeah, I don't even have any reference points selected. Whoops, song. Well, that's just it. For fuck's sake. Hmm. I don't want him to form up here, because there's probably going to be something nasty there. Or I could just do it anyway and say, screw it. Uh, let's throw caution to the wind. We'll get him to form up here. RP 80 something to 86. 80, probably 84 to 86. Okay. So. Where is it? Patrol. Initial. Yes. Up. And yeah, we'll basically launch all of the. Uh, okay. I've got, only got three of them. Jesus. Alright, whatever. We'll launch them anyway. Okay, I guess we probably should tick them first. There we go. Perfect. No, I want I want them all to launch. And uh, yeah, loiter creep sounds pretty good. Why not? Okay, not hostile. Well, presumably everything is going to be hostile, so we'll just say yes to that. Uh, to be yes, pessimistic or like yes, yes. Nah, not just yet. So you say no. Ignore and uh, yeah, let's just make it active. Why not? I so can't really spot them anyway. Actually, I do have a radar, but yeah, we'll just make these guys active anyway in terms of radar. Sounds good to me. And we also need these guys to be launched as well. What were these things? The uh, OV Tendi Broncos. Okay. Interesting name, I suppose. We'll get, just get them to launch towards the same position anyway, because they're going to. Well, they're going to come way after the air sub fighters anyway, so we'll do that. Patrol, why not? So, this one's going to be an anti surface patrol for ground. Initial patrol, initial patrol. 
And let's have a look. So, yeah, this one's going to be unavailable. Okay, this one's going to be available soon. Probably should have just add it into the uh, other thing, actually. Let's just do that. There we go. Okay. Bam, here you go. Alright, that's what about the Broncos. Change this though, we do not want their radars to be active. Yes, yes, do it passive all round. Yeah, actually, get them to do that. Although they should, they should be able to identify the targets before they get anywhere near to dropping their weapons because they're so freaking short ranged. But oh well. So, no, engage, yes. No, pessimistic. And really, don't want them to enforce the one third rule there. Okay, basically a contact. I don't really need them to do that, but whatever. We'll just keep it like that. And uh, really, we'll leave the naval units basically to uh, continue onwards, and I'll probably assign them to a mission as soon as something happens. All I know is that my orders are to go to Ark Bolivar for these guys. Other stuff needs to be launched. Let's resume, finally. These guys hopefully have got their sensors enabled. Let's have a look. Uh, huh, interesting. They got them disabled for some reason. Let's just briefly get them to eliminate. Yeah, we'll disable that. So, okay, oh, whoops, he's over there. So, no, nothing seen. No, what the hell, just get them to obey that then. Just want them to illuminate them briefly, rather than uh, just continuously keep their sensors on. So radar... Okay, he doesn't have any active radar apparently. That's so now we can engage that. I'm going to spot anything anyway. Well, there you go. Isn't that just freaking dandy? What about the range on this thing? Why can't I see the range on this fucking radar, for fuck's sake? Uh, full stop. Oh yeah, of course, it's not going to be able to move. That's strange. Oh, it's probably disabled, isn't it? Yep, sure is. So we'll just get it to turn on its radar. Hopefully anything that goes towards it can be intercepted by my fighters. My limited, very limited amount of fighters. Just turn everything just for the hell of it, even though it's really, really just this that's being turned on. Victor Mando. Victor Mando. So it's not going to spot anything. Okay, things are looking relatively quiet. I'm sure nothing's going to go wrong. We'll just speed up. So these guys are just going to steam in, and what do you know? Mayday, mayday, to MPA, whatever that means. This is the commander of BL-161 Cartagena, Cartagena de Indias, which was... Ah, here we go. Oh my, that's actually right... Oh my indeed, that's actually right next to our base even. Oh dear indeed. Anyway, we're being attacked. Repeat attacks by known submarine. Torpedoes hit our ship. They're screwed basically. The Katiga is sinking. Whoops, I forgot to launch the helicopter actually as well. And what the hell, we'll just do it manually and uh, assign it to missions as we go. So, launch individually, taking off. 30 seconds, good. So, this thing's um, going to die. Pretty unfortunate. Probably should na enable the sensors for this thing actually. And yeah, let's just go. No, actually, maybe not offensive ECM just yet. There we go. So, oops. Radars, sonars. Doesn't even have any sonars, oh god. Offensive ECM, no, no need for that. And. Radars, sonars, not nothing for offensive ECM. Okay, well, this thing's got pretty decent radar range. Of course, it's going to shine brightly on the enemy's radars, but I kind of want to. Actually, does this thing have radar? I probably should check that. Uh, no. Multiple sensors for Ark Bolivar, nothing. We can check them and un uncheck them still, but there's actually nothing to modify there. So yeah, looks like we're in a bit of trouble. To say the least. So down goes the Cantagas de Indians, or whatever the hell it was called. A nice Chinese uh, general's music playing, because why not? First fighters are a wee. Perfect. 
these guys will not be ready for a bit of time. So, yeah, I haven't actually played this mission ever before. I only took a brief look at it at some point, and that was just to um, just to mess around. Really, I basically played until I got the initial notification about the Cartagena sinking. So, uh, huh, this is going to be interesting. We'll just get this guy to go over. Oh, okay, I'm just. Delete that, get him to steam over here. The orders are still to go to Ark, so we'll do that. And, oh good, we got the helicopter departing. This guy is... Just get him to meet up, basically. And delete that, whoops. Hmm. Okay. So we got the AS1 selected. He's just going to... Uh, do something. Let's just select the sensors and... Activate that. Ah, generic mad. I believe that's not that's not mutually assured destruction. In this case, I think it's actually meant to be the magnetic something detector. I think. Hmm. Can also activate the radar. Not much point. So we'll just activate its sonars. Actually, well, not much point anyway doing that either. But we'll click it anyway, just in case there's something I'm missing there. But it doesn't seem to be the case. This generic mad. Is operational, no option to activate or deactivate it, so whatever. There was a submarine around here somewhere, or at least a torpedo struck this thing around here somewhere, so um, probably should set up a, a patrol actually. Probably wouldn't be such a bad idea, no uh, hostile contacts appearing otherwise. No problemo, so we'll just deselect and uh, got a bit of an area to cover. He's sunk around here, so yeah, a torpedo might have been fired around there, no problemo. Let's just add. A, uh, an area. Hmm. So he sunk around here, so we'll set up the area around here. It's as good as it's going to get, really. Otherwise, it'll be way too big. I mean, even this is probably going to be ridiculously big, so. Oh, whatever. Those guys are heading over there, I can just don't care. Okay, so, yep. Perfect. We'll just add a new mission, and. Uh, what is this thing called again? Arc Bolivar, let's just say. Um, SW. Yeah, make that a uh, ASW patrol. Bolivar ASW patrol, yep. Victor Mendu, and we'll get the something or rather, the, the AS to go over there. Yes, just do it there. Okay, delete that, and uh, get him to cruise actually, just so he doesn't do that. Um, yeah, just, just so he doesn't, you know. Control the area in a really slow, slow my fashion there. Okay. Activation hmm. time. Oh yeah, it's already active. You can change it, of course, so it becomes active at a later point. Not going to bother with that. That yeah, yeah, yeah. Radar pass. Yes. So pass. So not active. Yep. Gauge on hostile targets. Yep. Active in Winchester. Yes. I don't know why I would want to do it otherwise. There's a mistake. Yes. 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 Noop, noop, and yes, perfect. Thank you very much. Hmm. Okay, yep, there we go. <laughs> so, he should be investigating that automatically. Yep, pretty sure he's got the first waypoint automatically laid down. This thing's going to continue steaming towards Bolivar. What a steam that shall be. I suppose, yeah, we'll just have to wait for further orders. This thing really need, needs to... Let's see... Yeah, we can turn on the sonar... Oops. That'll be better than nothing, I suppose. Still. This guy definitely needs to steam to Arc Bolivar as quickly as possible, though, so... Damn, why does it keep doing that? Oh, uh, whatever, we'll just get him to go uh, here as well. Delete that, and... Uh, Speed is going to be full. He can't do flank for some reason. Hmm. Damn good music. <laughs> uh, okay. Hmm. Okay, a bit of 
pause that. New contact, designated skunk number 10. Ah, yeah. Really? Okay. Come to think of it, why don't we have any ground-based radars here? This is a, a very limited view of, um, of what Columbia has. I'm, presum I'm presuming they have a little bit more than this in terms of overall forces. I suppose these, these are just the ones that are participating, I suppose, you know, just to simplify the, um, the scenario a bit. But in either case, why don't they have like a ground radar here, for God's sake? I just don't know. In any case, we've got a possible enemy ship, and I believe I got already told these guys to engage on host. Oh no, I didn't actually. Oh no, I think that was the um, yeah, the other thing is yeah, that was the uh, the missions that are assigned to these particular guys. Hmm. Don't know who these guys are though. That's a problem. Okay, I can't do anything with this guy to detect him. Does he even have any weapons on him? Oh no, he doesn't. What the hell is this thing then? Persuader. Oh, wait a minute. Oh. <laughs> Whoops. Ah, okay. I should have turned on the radar on this thing. I think I misidentified it as a um, ship before, even though I should have noticed with the uh, NATO symbol that I was using there. Whoopsie long. Alright, well, let's uh, turn on its radar then. Oh, it's got radar already turned on. Base M con, nope. Radar. And everything else is good. So if I zoom out, while I see its radar range, I will not. Why? Why do I not see its radar range? Hmm. Yeah, it should be active. <coughs> yeah, not 100% sure what the hell's going on there, actually. Huh. Alright, so we'll keep the radar on this thing turned on just in case. This thing's probably going to want a deferred course, actually, before. There we go. I want to get into the um, way of the SAM missiles this thing, or whatever anti-air weapons it has, so let's just resume. Okay, we'll just keep a close eye out for uh, new contacts as well. So we've got skunks. Run out of energy. I think that was the enemy thing that was fired, possibly. Actually, wait a minute, what's the range on this thing? Okay, I think I'll turn off the uh, merge thing, actually. Merge range symbols. Damn it, why can't I see these other range symbols for fuck's sake? Uh, and these guys are just going to be loitering around. Well, they haven't spotted anything. I don't think they're really able to do so that well. They do still have that good old Mark 1 eyeball to do that, but um, I don't know what the hell this area is meant to indicate. Just very strange. Well, we'll take out the skunk if need be, and we'll, I'm, I'm assuming there's going to be more orders issued, because right now it's just launch crap into the air. And uh, get these guys all to go to Arc Bolivar. Interesting, yeah. Actually, maybe I could turn on the. Actually, I probably shouldn't turn on the radar on that. In fact, I probably should keep him flying low to avoid the enemy radar now that I think of it. In fact, let's just see if we can do that. Yeah. So, he's got nothing on, his radar's not active. Okay, let's just get him to where. Uh, go down. He's actually, oh, he's actually going out to maximum speed. Oh, damn. Before I change this waypoint, apparently not. Okay. And uh, you'll just get him to go at min altitude, which is probably not going to be zero. Desired altitude six. Well, good. Hopefully that'll, um, yeah, keep him, keep him as far away from radar, or rather underneath the radar uh, detection thing as much as possible. So st still go full speed, why not? Although it might have been this thing that actually fired off the torpedo, for all I know. Hmm. Well, get this thing to do a sweep in either case. So that, and... That's perfect. Way pointing our way to victory. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, let's restart. Or re well, not really restart. Let's keep on going, should I say. <clears throat> so it's just going to keep on circling around apparently without a radar thingy for some reason. That's strange. It's it's on. Radars are on, active. Ocean Master 100. I'm oh, okay, I can't just get the information from there. Okay, Ocean Master. Yeah, max range 240 nautical miles. Radar surface search long range. So presumably can't even get 
aircraft on that. Although we do have electronics intelligence, generic uh, passive air yeah, search thingy, Majingi, so we got that, I suppose. Still. So, what was the range again? 240. Can I zoom out maybe? There we go, 240. So, if we just go out. 240, so it should be about. Whoops, here, but I'm not seeing any circles though. <sighs> What's going on? I just don't know. There, at 12. Let's resume. What the? Okay, flash message to all commanders. Human intelligence has obtained a rough location of the rebel Kampa. It is around coordinates N seven twenty sixteen W seventy two o three thirty four. An army spec ops Koi is flying by helicopter to the area after sinking. After the sinking of Columbia Navy Auxiliary Ship Cartagena de Indias, our government has authorized the use of force. Good. To spec ops, your order to cross the border and assault the rebel camp. Wait for support of tactical bombers from GACAS to GACOM 1. Arm your fighters with AA weapons, which is what we've got. Order them. Oh, here we go. Order to fly them to cover the assault to the rebel, rebel camp to GACAS. Organize and attack the rebel camp. Coordinate with spec ops. Uh -huh. Okay. Spec Ops on terrain to avoid friendly fire casualties. To naval units. The naval, the enemy submarine attacker is still sailing in, this, in the area. Presumably that's going to be him. You're authorized to hunt and seek. A small flotilla from the enemy has been participating in exercise with the Cuban Navy. Last report shows a small flotilla heading home. You are authorized to attack this formation. Please identify target before firing. Some neutrals are sailing in the area. Damn it, I was just about th thinking of um, getting him to launch you know, to fire and everything, but no, apparently not. Alright, so is this the camp they were referring to? Let's see, 7 2016. Uh, 7 2016. So this is uh, 6 7. Oh, I think this is it actually, yeah. This is the naval camp somewhere around here. Maybe? No, there's. What the hell is this M thing? Oh, that's the uh, mobile group, the Spec Ops guys. No problem, mate. If a triple tune, so are they going to head by foot or are they actually going to get transported or something? I don't even know how. I don't think what I've got here can do that. I mean, actually, no, they can't. These are bloody air sub fighters. They can't just pick up these troops. These guys are just going to head out, and this is apparently their little embarkation area, basically. 7.20 and 72.03, 72.03, is there going to be like an actual marker that I can go to instead, I don't see anything, I suppose I can set a marker if need be, I just, just need to find out where the hell this coordinate even is, so yeah, 7.20, 16, 20, okay it's going to get down, wait a minute, oh no this is north, okay whoops, 7.20, okay 7.20, Oh, N720, okay, I was looking at the other number after it, okay, N720, so N11, okay, it goes down like this, as you can see, I don't know how to read these coordinates either, okay, N720, so N720, N720, oops, damn it, N720, 16, so about here, West 72... 69, nope, 71, 72. So they should be around here somewhere. So N2016... Oops. West Good. 72, 3, oh, 4, 52, yeah, that's pretty close, so... Oh, fuck me, I wanted to lay a, um... Maybe I should just do it this way, yeah, control and... Uh, there we go, Jesus, why didn't I think about it before? So it's around here, though, and... 720... 72, oh, 3, 72, 1, good, so it's around here. Perfect. God damn it, I just wish I'd showed me that on the freaking map. 
Oh well, in either case, it's got that and uh, the flying by helicopter. I, I didn't see like them, like an actual helicopter being indicated, but uh, there we go. Can I actually get these guys to do anything? I can actually. I'll be damned. Okay, it's good to know. I don't see any helicopters though. Oh no, they're part of a group. Okay, so if we select the ah, there we go. That's a bit more like it. So I'm just selecting the uh, unit for you run the group here. So there's the group. There's the unit. So these guys are in separate infantry platoons, and this is station apparently. Their station, whatever that means. I don't see any helicopters though. Got the stations though. Okay. Hmm. And it's just across the border, but the border seems to be right here. Oh. Whoops. Is that it? N seven twenty sixteen. Oh yeah, actually it is a bit far. Okay, you know, mine it is right there. Whoops. Yeah, I was looking at this other thing, which is actually, yeah, for our little embarking zone. So, uh, Governor Blank. Await okay. support. Okay, well, how long is it going to take to uh, get these aircraft launched, for God's sake? Five hours. Jesus. Arm your fighters with air weapons, which is what they've got. Attack on the Roman camp, call down spec ops and terrain to avoid friendly fire casualties, no problemo. So that'll be with the uh, bombers. We need to get the bombers basically um, in the air and then I'll... Actually no, these guys, since they seem to be going by foot I think, I should probably tell them to walk over right now or to start walking. Submarine attack is still in the area, hunt and sink. Uh, I can't have to identify it for fuck's sake. Yeah, that's, well there we go, that's the current situation. So... These guys, let's, let's just see if they'll even do anything actually. Let's just see. Oh no, they are moving. Even though I didn't assign them any orders. So, uh, can I can actually see what they're. Yeah, they don't see any waypoints on them, so they, they're just moving basically. Okay. Interesting. Alright, well, let's see how that goes. <sighs> the fighters being. Yeah, actually, that should be. Be fine for the fighters. I suppose this thing will just. Uh, oh, right, that doesn't uh, do that. We'll just get it to waypoints here. Perfect. And uh, so this thing presumably is going to be hostile. I'm not 100% sure. Still need to identify it though. Should I do it with a helicopter actually? Why not? Do it at close range, so we can just go in and go in and out, or rather, do it at low altitude, so I can just go in and out. So let's just uh, see how that'll work out. Damn it! I just want to identify it for fuck's sake. Yeah, that's these guys are going to be waiting a while. Uh, yeah, have to get those guys to launch. Yeah. Probably not the best of ideas, but I'm going to do it anyway, just for the hell of it. Maybe just get this thing to um, go cruise, which is near max anyway, okay. And we get this thing just to go at uh, low altitude as well, so at least it should have a, a slightly easier time identifying them over the uh, horizon. Okay. Come on, civilian, I knew it. Well, actually, I didn't really know because it was just identified as skunk, but uh, well, they have it. So yeah, now I can actually just explore around and see if I can find any submarines. This thing's just going to fly around as well with um, no radar activated. I'm sure that there's something I'm missing there. I don't know what the hell it is, but whatever. Just keep on going and see how this will work out. More fighters incoming. This is probably going to be a bit overkill, but whatever. They should be able to return to base before they. Oh shit! Ah, okay. Damn it! I should have been a bit more careful. Uh, vampire attack.
attacking okay, where? Well, in any case. Squadron one triple one weather. Oh, the va okay. So that would be around here, maybe. I'm not hundred percent sure. Yeah, actually, it's squadrons, yeah, of course. So yeah, these guys are certainly left. That's for sure. So yeah, yeah I'll keep these guys hovering around. They should be fine, I'm sure. So I don't know where the hell, hell those vampires are, though. <laughs> Probably could get these guys to perform a bit of an air patrol, I just have to be very careful of ground-based anti-air as well. Could have been ground-based anti-air for all I know, but what the hell, I mean, I've got a whole bunch of planes, so a bit of plane spam happening there. I might as well just send them forward, actually, get them to uh, see if they can f see anything interesting, basically. Like a better word, so we've got civilian craft there. Uh, yeah, let's just do that. So these M guys are... Let's just have a look, they're still moving, aren't they? Yes, they are. No problem. Oh shit, here come the vampires as well. Uh, what are these things, actually? Hmm. Contact report. No detected emissions. Well, I just want to know... Oh, so there's some kind of missile. It doesn't actually know what kind of missile it is, though. So it could be an air-to-air -air missile. It could be an... surface-to-air missile. Hmm. So nuclear device. All right, so I think I'll just yeah, rather than getting these guys just hover around while they get shot at by vampires, I probably should get them to fan out since I got all of them there. If there's an air threat, hopefully the air spam should be able to defeat them. I'll try to use some strategy as well. Why not? Pretty big area to patrol though. That's the problem. Still, like, let's just see. Actually, see if I can find out where they roughly came from. So one coming in there, one coming in there. So, around this direction, pretty big area to patrol though, but, well, what the hell, I've got plenty of aircraft, so, just deselect that, and find another area, so, here, we'll make it, <laughs> nuclear device, we'll make it here, seven, so, four to seven, no problem, can I just edit that in here, I wonder, let's see. Seven. Just... Fuck's sake, why isn't there a hotkey for that? Anyway, add points kindly highlighted on the map. There we go, we can set up a new area just like that. So, initial air sub, yep, perfect. We'll just modify the mission parameters, and hopefully that should be able to adapt just fine and dandy. Shit. I probably should have run I got him to fan out as soon as I got, you know, all the fighters up in the air. Because, of course, you know, Venezuela, I think we're playing against Venezuela, is probably going to have, you know, some stuff around here ready to shoot me down. We'll see what happens. Just hope I don't get my guys shot down rather needlessly. Nuclear device. Been lost, and... What do you know? These guys are doing a great job out manoeuvring, actually. Active radar, so it's in the terminal phase, or whatever they call it. And he's gonna miss, is he? Yes, he is. Wow. <laughs> okay then, Jesus, they really miss. I mean, they really suck, should I say. These guys are going to be returning to refuel. That's alright, I think these initial ones that I sent out anyway, these guys should be able to uh, just fan out and patrol. There you go. Got everything marked out. Perfecto Mundo. Nothing really new happening here, though. We'll just uh, keep things zoomed out. We'll try to keep an eye on uh, the current situation. This guy's going to take forever to get over there, but whatever, we'll, uh, we'll resolve this scenario someday, I'm sure. In fact, I think I might even want to segment this off into another video, actually. Part 1, Part 2. Actually, yeah, why not? Let's do that. So, um, just pause this then, so I can just do that. So yeah, for YouTube people, I shall see you all in the next video.